Hey guys, I'm Smokewad, and welcome back to the Old Republic Inquisitor Storyline. Now, I did take care of some, some some minor little side quests along the way, well, between the last episode and this one, and I did get the first part of this one done. You know, I got all the tablets and whatnot, which is not that big a deal, there's no story involved. I think you guys want to see it anyway. However, like I said, I'm going to show you the main story, and here we go. Yes, it is remarkable. Ooh. Magnificent. Hey there. You, you slave. Wait, no, acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Indeed, Lord Zash. Yes, my lord. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. Quite a beauty, One huh? thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I shot lightning at it. I shot lightning at it and it opened. See? Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply it's not meant to God. open it. Your work so far me. in bringing back this holocron, and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb, has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. I am honored, Lord Zash. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. Remember, Lord Zash, as you can see here, is Harkin's boss. So, <laughs> I'm happy to disappoint Harkin. I was just about to send Fon off. What delayed you, slave? Just my future master. Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am. And then we got talking. And I suppose I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. Uh -huh. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? I never fail. Of course. As always, I'm brilliant. I'm not you. Give it here. Man. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? Go ahead and you have a buddy. big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? Will your pet be You there? are not fit for their presence. Yeah, your little pet over Please here. tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training at combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. Shit. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Man, you're a cuddless guy so good. Hello, wussy. And now I can go to the fleet if I want to. I'm not going to go to the fleet now, but at some point in the future, you'll definitely see on the fleet. Anyway, let's go ahead and go upstairs and take care of this whole combat deal, you know? You're thinking that we're going to cut our own arm off. Whatnot. Where is the faith, Harkin? Where is the faith? I mean, seriously, bro. I mean, you thinking I'm gonna go all up in here and chuckle an arm off? You know, dude. Maybe I could just play with the fawn and you know, kill him. And then you won't have to worry about anything. You know, I'll be, he'll be dead. He'll be dead. Ooh. A sorcerer. Let's go ahead and be a sorcerer and get that done. Commit. And see. Sweet. We have lightning sword. Let's see, commit to lightning. Ooh, chain lightning. Good. Now, chain lightning delivers an arc of lightning that, that deals 188 to a 7 inch damage to up to 8 targets within 8 meters of the primary target. Damn! I don't remember that being that strong. I'm ready. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkin, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. This isn't going out well. This sounds vaguely like a threat. What did I ever do to you? I'm sorry, man. I liked you. I really did. 
But Harker made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. I'll give you one chance, guys. Back off. You're not gonna be able to handle this. You will regret that. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Chain lightning. Ah. I like you guys. Shame you had to try to pump me like that. And Harkin, buddy, you trying to have me rubbed off? Come on, man. You gotta have a little bit more of a strategy, dude. I mean, you guys expected those two little scrubs to really bump me off. I mean, honestly, honestly, I am disappointed, Harkin. I am disappointed. And I have a focus now. And I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Let's talk to the scumbag and see what he has to say for himself. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some dark lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. Where is your little pet? I want to see his leash. Speaking of Fawn, he seems conspicuously absent. You only wish it, slave. No. You took so long returning, I sent Fawn ahead. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? Sounds simple. I think I can do that much. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started. So my advice? Run, slave. Run. Hello, um, Lord Zash. One moment, please. Lord Zash! What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No. Of course not, Lord Zash. Properly beaten Good. down. Good I saw the last acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Hord's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Your pet won't like this. Uh-oh. Fawn's in trouble. It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Dishard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dashard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I'm not easy to kill. I have yet to meet a danger I cannot defeat. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte. Thank you, Lord Zash. See, that is a proper send-off there, Arkin. You need to learn from your master, man. She's being polite. So, I mean, she's being all sociable. But I like her. She is cool. She is good. I like her. She's awesome. You guys see that? That right there? That was Zash. Zash is cool. That's who that is. That's coolness over there. Coolness. Anyway. I am actually just going to pop down and just do the main storyline for this one. So I'm going to wander off over there. I will do the side quest on my own time. However, I wanted to show you guys the main story before I bail out of this world. And I know you guys don't want to see too much of the side quests. So I'm only going to throw in a side quest or two every now and then. Just the ones that I find interesting or appropriate. And, you know, it should be interesting. I hope. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm sorry I went quiet there for a second. I had a bug on my shoulder and I had to brush it off. You know, occasionally you, you'd be surprised that I actually run out of stuff to say. And that was annoying because I find myself being able to say stuff. And I apologize for that and I'm ashamed of it. But, you know, I, I, I do try and I'm getting better, hopefully, as time goes on. And, you know, I hope I actually provide a somewhat entertaining, you know, you know, time here. Either way, killing this Seth over here, these little scumbags who think they're better than me. Ah, I know, I know. You guys are just so awful at being alive. And I, I know that I make it hard to be alive because I just eat you. I eat your flesh. I eat your power. And I, I swat as you scream. Scream as the lightning courses through every single vein in your body. And I'm gonna be a little bit annoying, guys. And I do understand. Now, I'm not an I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. I do. I really do. However, you still shouldn't get in my way because it's just not a good idea if you're trying to get anywhere in life other than of course, you know. I mean, I understand why, but just think about it. Just think about it, okay? And I sit back and think about it next time. I look at this guy, and there, there, there are literally hundreds of people dead alive dead in my wake. Do you honestly think that you little ram scumbag can stand out my way and not deny? I mean, the, the sheer uh, Cool and I was rambling there for a good few minutes there. And, uh, yeah. Don't you love it when I, when I ramble? Heal. Heal. I actually heal by flowing the raw hate and destructive madness through me. So, yeah. I actually gain hit points by being insane. There's something. Oh, look, that guy's about to die. Ah, uh, oh, oh, buddy. Buddy. Uh, actually, I want to uh, murder the accolades before I go up. So let's go ahead and murder some of, get some of these guys first. Damn, the whole dead bodies over here. Someone else is my body of murdering. And there we go. And my knee. There we go. Not ready yet, my ass. Alright, let's see. Murder, 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 murder. Murder, murder, murder. And lightning. I probably could just do it the other direction as well. Get a good mind. But, you know, this area is here. And so you go up, why not? Just go ahead and wipe him out. You know? Go ahead and take him out. Alright, so let's go head back this way and grab that Hawthron over here. Or the Hawthron, the uh, rods, rather. Go ahead and grab those. And we got some droids in the way. Let's get the chain lightning. Chain lightning, I, it does eventually get phased out. That's why it loses its effectiveness. First of all, it's slow. It take, has a two and a half second cast time. Uh, that's a really long cast time. Like a and second, it eventually just becomes ineffective, or not ineffective, just inefficient compared to, say, Four Storm, which is a lot more powerful and it's a lot faster. And it got an achievement! Let's check that out. Two achievement. Let's see. Killed 250 acolytes. Damn, Ryan killed her for the acolytes because I'm rock roll and watching Gators through here. I actually was considering playing a, a Sith Warrior, which is also a fun storyline. And maybe at some point in the future I might do that. Show that on my channel, but, you know. Honestly, I do this for fun, and I do this hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. So, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Just depends, right? I, I killed those guys because I felt like it. You know, if they're there, they're there to be killed. So, kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. And then kill them when they ain't looking. Kill them when they are looking. Kill everything. Blood. Delicious blood. Look. Blood. And I'm getting ganked from two sides. This is why a medpack comes in handy. Die. Medpack. Or droids, rather. Alright. Get the lightning going. And boom. Let's see. Down. And yeah. see that was actually a fight where I got a good beat now because that bond was beating on me at once. And as you can tell, eventually you will have a companion, and I'll explain that more when I finally get one. However, getting beat on by five guys at once, especially as a claw player, is not beneficial for your health. Alright, let's see. Got the knockdown and boom. Oh, yeah. Give 
you saying that already. My hands. I can go back up north and my legs are getting stiff. Ah, there we go. I actually sit sometimes with my legs on the desk, so it gets a little bit uh awkward at times. Alright, put two down, two down, three down, and four down. Pathetic. Weak links. Alright, more lightning. Nice. And lightning. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, but it appears as though you're dead. Sorry to see that, man. Lightning! For now, this is my best area of fact, so I'm just using it. Even though, like I said, eventually the Force Storm will overtake it. Force Storm, as I actually, it's a little bit disappointing as an Inquisitor, because they have been the flavor of the year, basically, which means that they are really overpowered considering how much damage they have. And they never did get, I'm not going to say nerfed, but they never got just a, a, an appropriate level, let's say. And I'm just saying it's a terrible thing to be a bit stronger than everybody else. I'm just saying it's a terrible thing to be so strong than everybody else that literally everybody in their mom was playing one because of how powerful they are. And you know how people are going to be. They're going to play the most powerful class because they want to be the Uber or whatnot. And I played it literally because I wanted to play it. Like, well, this looks fun. I'm going to play this. And it turns out it's the most powerful class in the game. It's kind of was like. Oh, damn, now everybody thinks I'm playing this just to be a strong. Right. It's kind of like the Hunter of Wild, where there's an easy class to do a lot of damage with, is the way it's set up. And so everybody thought that Hunters were just, you know, retarded. Because most of them sucked. Like, most of them didn't know how to play beyond this, you know, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. And, you know, that's kind of a shame. It's a shame when classes do that, where they actually make the class so strong that it's, like, it makes the character weaker as a whole. It's everybody, everybody's scrubbing the rainbow. Let's play it. Anyway, here, there's actually a little strategy here I want to show you. Watch. And he's down. Won't be able to loot him, but he's dead rather easily. I can actually wait every, like, it's a 20 second countdown here, and I can actually go up to them, turn the right way, and then shoot them off the ledge. Which, although it's not the most efficient way of killing guys, it does make the fights significantly easier. For instance, this guy, go the right way, I'll go down the wall, but I can't do that. Which knocks the guy down, and makes my life more easy as he's knocked down. I forget my own rule here, let this guy die first. I always kill the ones first, and I occasionally forget my own rule. And I have to do my with it. I haven't died yet, which is good. Hopefully you guys will see a minimal amount of me dying. If that's, a, if that's an option, I'm gonna go with that. You know, minimal amounts of smoke deaths. Saying, you know, I know you guys might be wanting me to die. Let's don't die. Dying is unpleasant. You know how it is. You guys know how it is. Nice. Level up. Eat lightning, robot. Droid. I know. Appropriate term is droid. Don't get mad at me, Star Wars. Here is the city. And down the road. And hey, man, how's the insurance plan? Apparently, it's great. Two down. Let's see up a little bit. It's because I have a white up ahead. And let, let me go ahead and demonstrate what Roman does. See if you can do that. And he's stunned for 60 seconds. On him. However, he does heal while this is going on. So, for every second he's in there, he heals for about 8% of his hit points. Which can be, you know, useful for kind of or however, keep in mind that you should be a few guys out of the way. And I know it's kind of confusing what I just said, but it, it, it makes sense if you guys want to see what I'm Oh wait, gotta kill this guy first. Alright, never mind. Wow. Wow. Bed pack. This one's there. Oh damn, getting killed. Alright. And now you. And sweet. Alright, go ahead and heal up. I've got about 1700 hit points. I can use some more hit points because I'm using shit gear right now. Hopefully, it should be maybe an episode or two. You'll actually see me wearing some decent gear. And we'll see what happens. I actually have an outfit set aside for this guy already. In my outfit, I actually have an armor set aside for this guy. 
get the boss for it. And I'll explain the boss for it later. And from there, I'll have a decent boss. Oh, wow. You know, like I said, it's beneficial. It's all very beneficial. It's beneficial to not have shit here. You know, I keep that in mind. You gotta have not shit. Yeah, at least if you can't have, you know, have complete shit, if you can't have complete shit, you know, you, you try to go for like minor shit or a little shit or maybe even mediocre. You know, I mean, those are your goals, life goals. Dude. Mediocre gear. You, know, you put all these rods up, and here we go. I'm gonna shut up for a second and let the story take over. Try that. Enter to the, to the Shah's chamber. Hello, Ken Val. He places Amin's White House fools. Gawai Kida seek from Tauhans. Itau Kida Melaswe Sama. Word sign in Merengai Saigatrawa Degai. Agasar Chais embarks prize war Peren Swase Ikbus Karadida. No, this is right. These were the instructions Zash gave me. I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. Ababarna Habans, Glaubena, Ni in Usakwai, Usi Terrans Apipao. Alright, nice to meet you, Kamba. Was Jabe, wise Jabe, Prophetis, we sons Jagara Haitain. I don't know how to say it, but, but Tulak Horde's dead, man. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. He places Amin's White House fools. Gawain Dida seek from Tauhans. Papro Gatua ina in Lausolam. Jagasa Dida do ima. Aren't you pleasant? Twadi in Warpai and Parlai Kain. Jaus erpai rojandan in bise vistai. In bizoze waitai spira pres in kretai. In bise e wanata atragata in jais. Let's get out of here. Fine, then let's go. Sisunja. Targi skolan. Alright. No problem there, bro. And now I have my first companion, guys. Uh, this is Ken Val. He is a tank, and he does that. In twifel atraus. Ufal Alese Rekjeja. He will also, let's see, heal? What the fuck? I want you as a healer? Tank, dude. Jesus. What the fuck can Bell is a healer? Damn, man, he's a tank. You can actually change multiple roles now for what they used to be. However, Kim Bell is, is and always has been designed as a tank. And he basically runs forward and grabs the aggro while you sit back in the back and nuke or run up there and start flipping your lightsaber and whatnot. Very beneficial. Yeah, you can't gather influence with him, and uh, unlike the parts of the story, all good things. And he broke through the thing. Now watch. I can, for pressing control 1, I send him into combat first. He grabs aggro. Oh, well, he's got force jump now. That's good. And I allow, it allows me to stand back here and nuke these guys while he stays up front. And their ass and grabbing aggro. Again, a good thing for me, considering that I'm a clothy nuker. Retrieve the ancient map. 
Once again, let's send in camp. Charge. He used to actually have a dash, not a jump. I actually kind of missed that. I liked it when he had his dash. That was kind of cool. Either way, though, it still works. You know, just because these guys are here, I'll go ahead and kill them. You, you know, they're here. They're in my way. You know, they, they, they deserve to die for their transgressions, my enemy. You know, they're in the middle of the way. You tell me who is this. I keep telling you. I tell you, not for my own benefit, but for your benefit. This is for you guys, man. Don't get in my way, or else you're gonna die. This is a, from some friendly advice from your local neighborhood. super insane. It's like a super developed. Can't talk right now before I'm not working. Sith Lord. And look, there's a Terran Tech. Terran Tontecs are a monster. Not fucking bottom. Oh, they're very evil. Also, I'm gonna kill it. It's also a gold. That means it's not a strong, which is a white. It's a gold, which is a, an elite. So let's send in Kim. He's got 6,000 hit points. And let's see how well we do against this monster. Here we go. Chain Lightning. Shock and then stun, and we'll go around behind him and get the light going again. Another shot, a few rights, and then some more light coming in. I'll take him out to an AOJ, he's got a 5,000 hit points as well. He can handle pretty well. He can also force lightning, and let's go ahead and do some recklessness. Uh oh, and force lightning. Slicing, 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 and a button. And yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go down A okay. There we go. Almost done. We're almost done. Almost got this guy out. And Ooh, some boots. They're better than mine? They are better than mine. Welcome to the party, boots. Now let's touch this. I got side house back. Return to Overseer Parkin. Let's go ahead and quick travel back to the academy here. Back to the academy. Back to the academy. Back to the academy. Alright, here we go. I'm sorry for my impromptu burst of song there. And it's still, it's still playing the epic music. I feel so epic. Let's play the epic, you know, Django Fett music there. Yeah, you know, I actually liked the, the original trilogy, you know, like, and the prequels. I liked both. Although, I, I think the Ewoks ruined, you know, Return of the Jedi for me. Just like I think the, um, you know, the Jar Jar effect really hurt Phantom Menace. At any rate, I'll go ahead and shut up and let the story do the talking. I'm telling you, Overseer, it cannot be done. I went into the tomb, I saw the Dashad across the chasm, but I could not get to it. But the map, the map! Lord Zash is adamant she will not take an apprentice without the map! I'm telling you, Lord Zash wants the impossible. No one is ever going to get that map! Heh, <laughs> guess again. No one except me, you mean. The map! And... The Dashad! Get that monster out of here this instant! And give me the map! No, it's not possible. You wretch, you filth, you must have cheated somehow. How did you do it? How did you release a monster? Sai galut saida, iswis us uf bandan ja atnam in puidangar ja. Eat him. Right. You... you must have cheated. You must have. You'll pay for this! Fawn, patience. You will have your chance at this whelp. After you personally deliver this map to Lord Zash. Eat him. Eat them both, Ken. Don't be that way soon. Good boy. Keep your pet at bay for just a moment, Acolyte. I would have a word with Fawn. Lord Zash. Yes, Fawn. Now, where's my map? Uh, here, Lord Zash. R right here. You found it for me, Fawn? How wonderful. Do you believe that? He couldn't have found it if he tried. Silence! Fawn will tell me what happened, won't you, Fawn? You wouldn't dare lie to me, would you? Because it would be a shame for me to discover that you lied to me. Now, 
one more time. Did you bring this map back from Nagasado's tomb? I, uh, I, uh, no. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, poor boy. How can you fool? In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? Poor, poor you fool! Ah! Oh. There's your Almost pet, done. Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. Yes, Master. As you say. This is not the end. Without Lord Zash to save you, you're nothing. I have connections that will hunt you wherever you go. Hey, without Harkin, man, you wouldn't be where we are. So thanks, Harkin. I'm sorry it turned out this way, Harkin. I know you never liked me much, but I learned a lot from you. What? Well, I guess it is an overseer's job to... to... inspire his charges. You still not Now get going, slave. I mean... apprentice. You're still an asshole, so, uh, so, yeah. I was called you slave. You're still an asshole, Harkin. But to be honest, the more you push me, the stronger I got. So. In Dagum Jainum, I'm Dagum. Oh, she had your weapon on your back, dude. Where's your weapon? Get your weapon out, dude. Yeah, get your weapon. Hold on. Yeah, you used to actually be able to modify every single one of these slots back in the day, but unfortunately, they changed that in the most recent patch, and you can't do that anymore. But used to be able to actually fully equip your old companions with fully modable gear and whatnot, and they kind of nerfed everybody. So, I don't know. You know, things change. Game changes. You know? Alright, let's go ahead and wrap things up in this area, I believe. Talk to Lord Zash, as we are now officially an apprentice. Awesome. We have a master now. Ah, my magnificent new apprentice. Congratulations are in order, I believe. I'm grateful. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. You've earned it, my apprentice. Now, I was just looking over this astonishing map you brought back, and I can tell we have a lot of work ahead of us. Oh boy. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> Patience, my apprentice. We must go about this with tact. All in good time. You must meet me on Drummond Cars. There we can talk more. Understood. Roman Cars. Got it. I will meet you in my chambers in the Citadel in Cars City. There we can speak more freely of the work ahead, without the fear of unfriendly ears. Oh, who's that? This is the lightsaber I had as an apprentice. I want you to have it. Oh, sweet lightsaber. Yes. There we go. Now, well, now it's a party. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> my pleasure. I'll use it well. I shall wreak havoc with it wherever I go. Magnificent. No doubt you will. Thank you, Sash. Now, remember, my chambers, place. the Citadel, Drummond Kars. It's imperative that we get to work on this as soon as possible. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to... make our acquaintance with somebody in a moment. Or a few somebody, as it appears to be. Mistake, guys. Stop right there, slave. Darth Scotia has a message for you. You're asking for trouble. I am a Sith apprentice. Show some respect or I'll smash your face in. Shut up, you insignificant worm. <laughs> the message is this. You will not go to Drummond Kars. Everything you've done here, everyone you dealt with, Lord Zash included, is insignificant. Darth Scotia has eyes and ears on Corriban. He knows what your master is up to, and he is displeased, to say the least. On Korriban, Lord shit. Zash may have her way, but on Drummond Kars, it's a different story. So you see, you have to die. Hey, Kem, show them your talent. Kem, what is it you do to force users again? Gibai Iswis Aman Hanguijins. Autosin, is that a shard? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Coward! 
Fight, you fool! <laughs> All right. Let's see. I can actually get different customized appearances for my dog, uh, for Cam here, and I will show those to you because there's a certain one I want to give him. I'll get to show you guys later. However, first, I want to show you the lightsaber, and this is a modification. I can actually put this into my lightsaber to give it different stats, and that allows it to continue using one specific weapon or piece of armor for the entirety of the game. However, I will not use this lightsaber because there's one I prefer to use instead, and you guys will see that probably next episode when I actually have that and my all, all my other gear whipped out and ready. But in order to get this to a nice send off, let's go ahead and take care of these guys, shall we? Go. And go. Damn, you suck. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go ahead and get back to the Alright, guys, we are officially up an apprentice of the Sith Order. We have a master and we have a lightsaber. I think this is a good area to go ahead and end it all off in. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. And as always, take it easy.